is the New York Blood Center is calling for more donations. Joining me now is Andrea Seffarelli, the Senior Vice President of Corporate Communications at the New York Blood Center. Andrea, good morning. Thanks for taking a few moments for us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So the region's blood supply currently stands at a one to three day level. Why is the blood supply so low right now? So normally the fall is the time where we build up the blood supply with our high school and college uh, blood drives, but our youth donations have still not rebounded from COVID. So we have had five blood emergencies in the last uh, year, which is more than normal. And so our blood supply is low heading into the two holiday weeks. Everyone's gonna get in their car, get on a plane, see family and friends. And then you have the triple threat of RSV, flu and COVID, and it's just keeping blood donors away. So let me ask you this, how can people donate first of all, and how much do you actually need to kind of get back to level? So we really need uh, first time donors. So if you're a blood donor, grab a friend or a family member that hasn't donated before and bring them. So we, we need thousands of additional uh, blood donations to really have a good blood supply. And you can donate uh, at any of our 19 donor centers and we have fun socks uh, to give away as a special thank you. Uh, and as far as first time donors, what can they expect? Do they need to do anything to prepare or is it just show up? Yeah, you should eat well. Salty snacks are actually good for you pre-blood donation. It helps you have good fluids. It takes about an hour, so plan to be there an hour. And it's not as bad as you think. People think nothing <laughs> of piercing their ears, you know. It's a small discomfort to save a life. I try to tell that to my son all the time. Trust me, it's not as bad as you think when he's going to get a shot. Um, let me ask about uh, specific blood types. Are there any blood types where we're further below where we need to be than others? Or is it just yeah. whatever you got, we'll take? Uh, it's both. Well, whatever you've got, we'll, we're happy to have you uh, come to our donor centers. But uh, type O negative, which is only present in about six or eight percent of the population, is what we call the universal blood type. Yeah. And it's at a one day supply. So type all RH negatives are low. O pause is needed. But really, whatever type you are, uh, please come out. And let me ask you right now, without making this pitch to people to kind of uh, to get them to, to come out of their homes to donate blood, what are you seeing right now as far as the ebb and flow of people making donations on their own? You know, we've recovered pretty well from the pandemic. The problem is that the need for blood is higher than pre-pandemic. And so we haven't recovered that well. So there's a constant gap every month. And uh, we're sort of begging the public over and over. And, and we need blood every single day, you know, 365 days a year. And we're about to hit two major holidays where we don't collect at all. Yeah. So it's a pretty, um, pretty important need. On a little bit of a lighter note, you just mentioned before, everybody who donates between now and the 4th of January receives a free pair of socks. Why socks? Uh, people, our donors seem to love them. Yeah, they make great photos on social media, and it's just a small way to say thank you and add a little humor to what's a, a serious need. And sometimes it's better than a lollipop, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Andrew, thank you so and much. And you for, get the cookies. You, you got always it. get cookies. Thanks so much for taking the time. We appreciate it. Best of luck. We hope things go well. And for more information on how you can donate, you can go to cbsnewyork.com.